I'm Benjamin Sharp, the Power Education Specialist at Stages Cycling, and today I'm going to walk you through how to build a training plan using Stages Link. We can build a training plan based on two different parameters. One is if we're building for a particular event, or two, if we want to uh, build a training plan to address a particular skill. And the first one I'll show you is to build for a particular skill. I'm going to start in the calendar page, which is where you'll be taken to anytime you log into Stages Link. And using the drop down menu on the right, I'm going to go to My Plans, click My Plans, and I'm going to choose a specific goal. Here we'll see a little bit of information about uh, generating a plan. We're going to go ahead and go for it. And next, I'm going to answer a few questions. First is about my quality of health and if I have my physicians uh, okay to go ahead and participate in activities, we're going to say yes. And then my next question is how long of a plan I'm looking to build. For today, let's just build a six week plan and we're going to use cycling. In the future, we have other uh, activities, other sports types that will be included, but for now we're just going to use cycling. And next I'm asked what kind of bikes I'm going to use to, to follow my plan. So we'll say we have a mountain bike and a road bike, so I'm just going to choose those two. And now I'm asked to assess how challenging the rides are that I'm typically doing each week. This is before I'm following this plan. And so as far as how many hours I use each week, we'll say I do four hours of easy riding and three hours of medium riding and we'll say three hours of hard riding. And we're already, we've already said that we're going to address a specific skill. We have some other options here if I want to improve just general fitness, if I want to lose weight, or again, I have the opportunity to put in a specific event. But we're going to, work, we're going to stick with the skill. And now I get to choose what skill it is I want to address. For our purposes today, let's just say threshold power. And now I have a little bit of a self-assessment. So my first question is whether I can ride at a sustained pace. And since I just said that I want to work on threshold power, I'm going to rate myself a little bit low on that. I'm able to match surges and accelerations. I'll give myself four stars for that. My bike handling, I'll say I'm middle of the road there. And if I'm able to consume uh, nutrition during races and in training, I'll say five stars because I'm really good at eating. Next, some questions about whether I've done any threshold testing. This is pulling over some default information that I've put in before. So I'm going to leave that here, but I can change the date that I did my last threshold test. We'll say that I did it in April. My max heart rate is put in as 175 and where my anaerobic heart rate is believed to be is about 156. Then next I'm going to answer some questions about power. So I'm going to put in when I did my last power threshold test. We'll say that that was done in May of this year. My chronic training load. So basically it's an assessment of how much training I've been doing. It's not a big deal to put that in there. If you have an idea based on other software that you've used, then we can use that. Or if you went through our pre-test when you first signed up for Stages Link, we get a calculation of what your CTL might be. And then my threshold power we'll put in at 300 watts. Then my next. And now I'm getting into a little bit of how the program is going to be customized for you. So whether we want to use single sessions or have multiple sessions in one day. Most of us that are in the working class, we're doing single sessions. We're able to train once a day. And next, uh, I'm able to put in how many hours a week I have available for training. So I'll go ahead and put eight hours a week. And then I put in each day how much I can ride. And it's okay if these numbers don't add up to exactly the same number that you put in for the number of hours. So Mondays I'll ride an hour. Let's say for whatever reason on Tuesday I can't ride. Wednesday I can ride an hour. Thursday I also cannot ride. Friday I can ride an hour. And on Saturdays I can ride up to four hours. And on Sundays I don't typically ride. So that gives us well over, or right around that eight hours a week. So next I'm asked when I want my plan to start. Well, I'm busy this weekend. Let's go ahead and start it uh, sometime next week. So I'm gonna put in next Monday. And we're gonna go ahead and build my plan. During this time, the plan generator is crunching the numbers to create a training plan for you. Once the plan has generated, uh, we can view the plan. 
and we will see basically what our season planning chart looks like as well as a summary of how much riding we're doing each week. So this is our season planning chart for the next several weeks and then the next weeks of riding are listed here in this chart. And then we have a list of what our next several workouts will be. Our next four or five workouts are gonna show up here. And then some more information about the plan and then a couple notes about following the plan. And then I can see what the plan looks like in my calendar. So my calendar will populate with each of the workouts that I'm supposed to follow on any given day. And you'll notice that I was able to, f that the workout generator followed the parameters that we gave it. If we look on Sunday, all of our Sundays have rest days. All of our Thursdays have rest days, for example, all of our Tuesdays, because you'll remember that earlier I said that I couldn't ride on those days. When you're on the calendar page, you can see your season planning chart using this little carrot down here at the very bottom. And this shows what our season will look like or what the time during our plan will look like as far as the load that we're able to do from week to week. This gives us a one week block. So you'll see that this highlighted period here is the, is the time period during which this plan takes place. And I'm building my fitness during that time and then once the plan ends because I don't have any more workouts scheduled I am scheduled to lose fitness now obviously what I'll do is at the end of this six-week plan I'll be very happy with how my threshold has improved and maybe for the next six weeks I'll build a new plan that maybe addresses uh, max vo2 power or sprint power or whatever it is that I feel like needs to be worked on next if we want to look and see what our individual workouts look like, we can click on a calendar day. So we're going to look, click on the very first day here, June 26th, and it's on this page that we get a summary of what the workout looks like. So the reason for doing the workout, maybe a verbal description of what the workout is, and then the goals for the workout, why we're doing the workout, how we can actually accomplish this workout on particular types of terrain that would be suitable for that workout, and then either our road or mountain bike, the equipment that's suggested for that workout. And then below that, we see the actual intervals that we'll be completing. We can scroll to the next workout using the carrots at the top right. The next workout is a day off. And then Wednesday, we have another workout type. And then the same thing with description, type of workout, why we're doing it, the correct terrain to perform that workout, and then the details of the workout itself, whatever intervals we're completing, as well as the intensity for those intervals. So what we've done here is we've created a workout based on addressing a particular skill. But for a lot of people, I think that um, we'll be working out, uh, we'll be creating workouts based on uh, an, an event that we want to complete. So I'm going to take you through how to do that. The first thing I'm going to do is to actually delete this workout or this, uh, this plan. So I'm going to go to the drop down menu, choose my plans, and then here you can see whatever plans I have available to me in my account. And to delete that, all I do is hit the trash can on the right, I confirm that I want to delete it, and so now my calendar page is going to be fresh. And I'll go ahead and take you to the calendar page to show you that through the magic of the internet, we've been able to delete that training plan. So we have no training available to us at this point. So I'm gonna go back to my plans and choose whether I wanna go for a specific goal like I did previously, or in this case, let's choose an event that we're going to do. And I can look for any number of different events. I can use a time range as a search function. I can use the name of the event as a search function. We are supporting the Farm to Fork Grand Fondo series that takes place mostly on the east coast of the US. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually search for one of those Farm to Fork Fondos. So I'm gonna search for the word farm. And here you see a series of events that are available to me to make a plan for. So let's say I wanna do the Pennsylvania Dutch Farm to Fork Fondo on July 28th. I'm going to go ahead and choose that. And then I get the information about the Farm to Fork Fondo. And then I can choose which duration it is or which distance it is I'm going to train for. And so for this one, let's go ahead and train for the Grand Fondo. So I'm gonna select the Grand Fondo here. I see some of the details that it's 168 kilometers, the date that it starts, where it's located. And I'm gonna assign an event priority. And since this is the only event that I'm going to train for this year, Let's choose, it's an A event. It's my most important event for the year. And then I'm gonna go ahead and build a training plan for this. And I'm gonna build a six week training plan. 
And we go through a lot of the same questions that we had previously. And let's say for this one I only have a road bike and maybe a gravel bike to use. Same sort of assessment here as far as uh, how much riding I do a week, um, basically uh, in different intensities. And then my own same as assessment here on whether I'm good at sustainable efforts or um, high speed efforts, um, my cycling skills, and then we'll continue to say that I'm good at eating. And then if I've done any testing in the past, whether for heart rate or for power, and then um, whether I want to use a single session plan or a, a multiple session plan. I'm gonna stick with single sessions. And then for this particular individual, let's say that you can ride just a little bit more. Mondays I can ride a couple hours, Tuesdays I can ride one, Thursdays I can ride one, and on Sundays I can ride three hours. And now we're going through that same process of the plan generator taking in that information and it's going to create a training plan for us um, that will populate our calendar. I'm going to view the plan and see how it's going to affect my season planning chart. Here you can see the build and fitness that I'm going to have. And then my A event shows up right here with the calendar next to it. I can blow that up and see what the event is. And it's that Pennsylvania Dutch Grand Fondo. Now we have the uh, list of the weeks and basically how many hours per week I'll be riding, expected training score, T-score, and then how that's going to affect my chronic training load, all kinds of other parameters. And then we see what my next five workouts are going to be, and we can show this plan in the calendar. So now this plan will be populated in the calendar with the goal being this A event right here on Saturday the 29th of July. And then these are all the workouts that we will do in anticipation of that event. And for any given day, I can pull up the workout and take a look at the description for the workout and some suggestions for that workout, as well as the, the breakdown of the workout itself as far as duration of intervals and how intense each of those intervals will be. So that's an overview of how to build a plan in Stages Link. And again, remember that you can build a plan according to a specific cycling goal or an event that you want to prepare for. For more questions and more videos, check out stagescycling.com.